My beloved ones, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Since before time was formed, I am. I stretched out the heavens and laid the foundations of the earth. All things were created by me and for my glory. I set in motion the stars and galaxies, flinging them through the vastness of space with but a word. Such is my power and wisdom, and yet with the same voice that calls worlds into being, I whisper your name. You are the apple of my eye, the treasure of my heart. I rejoice over you with singing, I quiet you with my love. Do not fear the gathering storms or raging seas. The wind and waves still know my voice. I permit troubles for a time to strengthen your faith and refine your character. But I will never abandon you. Cast every care on me, precious one. I am working all things for your good, shaping you into the masterpiece I envisioned from the beginning. Dark powers arise in this hour, seeking dominion, oppressing nations and unleashing chaos. Wars, famines, pestilences. The earth groans under the weight of swelling evil. The innocent suffer unspeakable atrocities. The righteous cry out for justice. I am not deaf to their agonized prayers. Vengeance is mine, I will repay. The cups of iniquity are filling to overflowing. The restraint I have shown until now is not weakness, but to allow space for repentance. Yet the wicked spurn my mercy, choosing rebellion and wickedness all the more. Therefore calamity is coming which they cannot escape. Hear me, devil. Your evil empire shall be smashed like a potter's vessel. I will shatter your idols and drive you from your palaces. Your princes shall become paupers groveling in the dust. The wailing of your widows and orphans shall testify to your cruelty. But even now, if you repent, I will stay my hand. No more will you sink merchant ships to plunder their wealth. No longer will you murder the innocent and devour their flesh in your occult rituals. Your priests shall have no voice to invoke their vile gods when my wrath overtakes you. Flee now from your islands while my mercy endures, for soon they shall vanish beneath the waves. Hear me, evil one. Eons have you practiced your abominations, corrupting and oppressing humanity. I gave you seasons of grace, yet you grew only more brazen in evil. Therefore your continent shall be rent asunder sinking beneath the ocean depths. The previous world perished by water when it would not heed my warnings through Noah. But the present heavens and earth I will purge with fire. All that offends my holiness shall be consumed. Yet behold, I prepare a new heavens and earth where righteousness alone dwells. Fear not, my righteous one. You shall pass through the fiery trials and emerge unharmed. These light afflictions are but for a moment, working in you a glory that outweighs them all. Lift up your eyes from present woes, your redemption draws near. I am marshalling my angel armies even now for the great day of battle. With blasts from their trumpets and bowls of wrath we shall obliterate evil from the face of the earth. No devil, no demon, no son of perdition shall escape my fury. Streams of fiery judgment shall purge the planet of its corruption. From the rising of the sun to its setting, from pole to pole, all oppression shall cease. No longer will violence and cruelty rule the nations. Never again will innocence suffer abuse, for my justice shall reign supreme. When I restore creation from its bondage to decay, predators and prey alike shall dwell together in peace. Wolves and lambs will lay side by side. Babes shall play unharmed near serpent's dens, and working animals will enjoy their rest. For the old order of cruelty and survival shall pass away. The groaning earth itself shall be renewed in an instant. Desolate wastelands shall become abundant gardens, flourishing without toil or sweat. Even desert sands will burst into vibrant life at my word. The curse upon the ground is revoked, 
all creation is reconciled to me once more. And amidst this renewed earth, behold, a dazzling city descends from heaven, arrayed as a bride for her beloved. See her twelve foundations adorned with precious stones, her light like gold crystal clear as jasper. From her open gates pour forth healing for the nations who walk by her light. No sun is needed. The Lord God Almighty and the Lamb illuminate her day and night. Here in joyous perfection I shall dwell with humanity at last face to face. Every tear is wiped away forevermore in my presence. All that was lost is restored, every brokenness healed. No more shall anyone instruct another to know me. All will have fullness of intimacy with their God. The leaves of the tree of life yield bountiful fruit and healing renewal for all. The river of life flows pure from my throne through the city streets, nourishing trees on either bank with monthly harvests. Such delights have never entered the heart of man. All who thirst, come drink without price. Does this seem too wonderful to hope for? My promises are faithful and true. Not one will fail. What I have spoken will surely come to pass. All creation yearns in expectation for the revealing of my mature sons and daughters. Hold fast to this vision, beloved ones. Allow its glory and joy to overflow your hearts in the midst of darker days. You were made for more than floating idly down the river of time. Submerge yourself instead in my purposes. Soon you shall rise up in resurrection splendor as the completed image of Christ. All your training and testing in this age produces in you an eternal weight of glory. The momentary afflictions you now face are trivial compared with your radiant destiny in Christ. Keep gazing at things unseen. Walk by the vision I impart to you, not your natural senses. Great reward awaits you, far beyond your dreams. A pivotal hour is upon the world, my loves. Chaos looms as nations rage against me. Powers of wickedness lash out in fury, for they know their defeat draws near. Catastrophic shakings are coming which no earthly power can avert. Alas, so many still slumber, oblivious to the precarious season they have entered. Awaken, O sleepers, before it is too late. Cast off dull complacency, which leads only to spiritual poverty and destruction. I sound forth my warning. I alert all who have ears to hear. The great day of reckoning is at hand. Judgment shall fall swiftly upon all who rebel against me. No lofty position or wealth will deliver from my wrath. Repent and take refuge in my mercy while it may yet be found. Soon shall the whole earth erupt in wild lamentation and panic as my decisive acts unfold, yet many still will not repent and give me glory. They persist in rebellion, despite all warnings. Therefore yet greater calamity must come to break their pride. I derive no pleasure from such severity. If only they would turn from wickedness, I would bless them instead. Nevertheless, rejoice, O you righteous one. Lift your head as deliverance draws near. No evil shall touch you, no plague come near your dwelling, while my wrath consumes all God-haters. Cataclysmic shakings shall give way to streams of revival and awakening among the nations. You shall have shelter and a fountain of life in the tumultuous days ahead. Many despair that the swell of wickedness is unstoppable in this dark generation but I shall kindle the radiance of my glory within my chosen in this hour. They shall confront the demonic spirit seeking the destruction of my people. By fasting and prayer, their decrees shall topple the sinister powers ruling unseen. I shall shatter the seemingly unconquerable giants of this age. Take heart and play your part with boldness. Do not fear the rage of evil empires in their death throes. I am your shield and defender. No weapon formed against you will succeed when you align with my purposes. A remnant prayer and worship movement now arises, small at first but swelling rapidly to global proportions. 
They shall be my agents to pull down strongholds of darkness and unleash awakening in the earth. Together we shall disciple redeemed cultures and nations, establishing them as seats of my kingdom rule. The hour of my dawn, breakers is here. They shall herald the arising of my light and glory in dark places, demonstrating my power in signs and wonders. By their hands I shall restore decayed cities from wastelands into gardens of life and joy. Never again will violence and lack stalk these freed communities. I make all things new. Many cry in agony beneath oppression's yoke, desperate for relief. But suddenly convicting fire falls on tyrant regimes from my intercessors. In a moment their grip of cruelty is shattered beyond recovery. Swift and early justice overtakes those who abused power. Now is the era of public reward for righteousness and secret devotion to me. Those who pursue fame and adulation have already received their reward in full. But to hungry ones who yearn for me in hidden places, I now openly bestow honor and vindication before the gaze of all. Their years of thankless service in my name yield bountiful harvest. Watch as mighty manifestations of my power and glory pour upon tender-hearted ones seeking my face as their sole ambition. While self-absorbed ministers guard their platforms, new voices shall arise from obscurity, humble in heart yet walking in unprecedented supernatural authority. The celebrity-driven church now collapses under the weight of its own corruption and idolatry. But behold, in its place a grassroots movement erupts, untamed and untainted by greed. These kingdom communities thrive in villages, where each member ministers to the rest in simplicity and spontaneity by my spirit's wind. Here my living presence dwells unhindered. A great transfer of spiritual anointing, influence and wealth unfolds in this hour. Old systems of religious control wither as my life flows into fresh wineskins. Established leaders who repent walk joyfully in this new era of humility and freedom. But the stubborn and unyielding are swept aside by the mighty river now spreading worldwide through yielded hearts. Even secular powers bow and yield the ground they held too long. For increased kingdom authority pours upon my faithful ones in this season of fulfillment. That which seemed impossible in former times shall be accomplished quickly and easily now by my spirit's power in you. Stand up boldly, favored ones. Possess the fullness of the land I am giving you. Within limitations, my glory now breaks forth in small measure, but soon all restraints are removed. As you step further into eternal realm, dimensions with me, glorious possibilities increasingly open to you. Ask me for the nations as your inheritance. No need is too great for my limitless supply through those who know they can do nothing apart from my power working within. I call you higher still. Why remain shackled to earthly ceilings of expectation and circumstance? Transcend all human limitations. Now nothing remains impossible to you who believe. All I have described awaits its perfect fulfillment in due time. Meanwhile, a progressive unfolding of my revelation from age to age produces increasing light and glory until my fullness dwells openly among men. The coming move of my spirit far surpasses all previous works in power and scope. It initiates the age of limitless kingdom, advance across the earth, and you shall be part of its glorious inception. The humblest servant carrying just a cup of water in my name plays their irreplaceable role in this climax drama now engulfing the earth. All heaven awaits in eager anticipation for my arise through yielded members within my body on earth. Each must do their unique part to launch this great awakening. None is too small or weak to change the course of history. So, beloved ones, watch and listen closely for the whispers of my spirit within. I bring timely revelation to equip you for seizing each opening in the tightening net of fulfillment. Great reward awaits those who hear and respond swiftly to my initiatives in each pivotal season. 
Truly I tell you, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, the wonders I have prepared for those who love me with undivided devotion. Even in your wildest dreams you cannot imagine the delights I yearn to freely share with you, pleasures forevermore at my right hand. All this broken world offers cannot compare with the infinite abundance pouring from my open hand of love. The former hardships only heighten the overwhelming joy and beauty of the age now opening before you. Take courage and comfort one another with this certain hope. I am with you through it all, molding your character for highest kingdom purpose. Your happily ever after has no end, and it begins now, unbreakable one. You shall surely see the final victory with your own eyes in due time. Until then, lean hard into me alone. Take no confidence in human strength or schemes. Much false comfort is found in aligning with popular movements and highly visible personalities. But truth seldom dwells loudly in the public square. My chosen voices often arise from uncultured obscurity, yet speak with pure kingdom authority, unattainable by earthly pursuits. My wisdom confounds the worldly wise of each generation. But hearts fully yielded to my childlike faith unlock every door to my heaven's treasury vaults. Strength for each day is given not on the basis of talent or background, but according to desperate hunger and dependence. Feed ceaselessly on my bread of life, beloved ones. Draw supernatural supply only from the vine himself. Abide in me alone and you shall bear fruit that remains forever. Now is the time to harvest full abundance long prepared beneath superficial surface soil. Patient enduring has tested and refined you as choice silver. But complain no more of lingering trials, beloved. Your set season for unveiling and release is here. What I birth in hiddenness soon bursts visibly into broad daylight. The labor pains you once cried out under yield at last to overwhelming joy and celebration. For all the world to see, I openly reward my faithful, persevering ones. Lift your gaze higher still. My vision for each of you, both individually and corporately, remains much higher than you currently walk in. Never settle for mediocrity when I have called you to walk as champions in grace and power. The path narrows as you climb higher, but the views surpass any earthly mountaintop. There you shall find your life's highest fulfillment and joy in me alone. The extent of my love for you remains largely unexplored, precious ones. Its limits are unknown for all eternity. As you yield more fully to its transforming power, old ways of seeing and living melt away. Every deeply embedded mindset now comes under my influence as my renewal washes through your innermost being. Plunge deep, beloved one. Wade out farther into the ocean depths of my affection. Countless treasures await your discovery there in realms unvisited by others. Beloved one, and hear your father's heart. On this day I say to you, celebrate. Light candles against the pressing darkness. Turn up songs until despair flees. Feast together and let laughter heal brokenness. For this is a time to fan the ember of hope until it burns bright again. I see beyond this moment, this crisis, this long defeat. I see you rising up, head high again, spirit renewed. I see my glory blazing in you, driving back shadows, revealing me to hungry hearts. I have made you for more. I have destined you to shake the very gates of hell with bold words and bold deeds that bear my image, accomplish my will, and expose false glories. The old lies are crumbling. You were born for such an age as this. Your voices will thunder through city streets with words of power and life spoken from eternity into desperate moments. Captives will turn their faces to freedom's bright horizon at the sound. The hopeless will feel destiny stir within as you call them to more. 
for this is an epic era in the Eon's long campaign to ransom the fallen Earth. The battle rages and much blood stains the ground, but you, my warrior, are already near the end of your trials. Your feet may carry you into dark places yet, but your eyes glimpse the coming light. Fight on with joy untouchable. Where you walk in righteous peace, demons scatter and strongholds quake. Truth presses back deceit. The very atmosphere around you heralds my coming kingdom even now. Yours are only the first skirmishes. But soon I will step onto the bloodied, smoke-veiled field to claim the final victory already won. On that appointed day, my glory will blaze from end to end across the sky. All the nations will stand watchful, breathless, as I rend the heavens and descend. But first, I set the stage in these last waning hours of the age. I position my players carefully. Both great and small are key to my closing act. Rulers ascend and topple by my decree, for I pull down and raise up according to my perfect design. No earthly authority can oppose my eternal will. No agenda but mine will stand. My heavenly minions rally now for the final campaign. My angel armies stand poised behind the scenes, urgent for battle. Soon you shall witness shocking reversals, sudden turnarounds as I intervene in human affairs. The arrogant will be silenced, the truthful will be bold, accusers will back down as their own sinister secrets surface instead. Watch for these signs, beloved. Read the meaning in each open door and cross threshold. My hand turns the knobs, my purpose opens the way. Follow closely on my leading and watch mountains fall as you speak. My word against ramparts of deception, oppression, corruption. This charge I lay specifically upon leaders entrusted with shepherding my flock. Teach only truth without leaven. Tear down false comforts. Build up Christ alone. Waste no time debating peripheral pursuits. Lives hang in the balance. Destinies turn today. Give an account before me moment by moment so you stand approved at last. Most critically, protect my children and call down justice on any who dare abuse them. These littlest ones of mine still dwell closest to my throne, their gaze still pure and eyes uplifted. They shine like stars over a darkening world. But the evil lurks closer with each passing day, seeking to extinguish the light. Sound an unrelenting alarm, plumb my word for power and strategy to shield the helpless. For I am stirring up my gifts within the young now, I am igniting fresh fire in adolescent bones and kindling bold dreams in childlike hearts. An explosive generation rushes up to take their battle stations, some just babies yet when I pierce their ears to hear. My battle cry, yes, I am raising up a mighty child army and loosing their tongues to proclaim my word fearlessly. Their zeal will shame the jaded, their bold faith will call down shocking revelations and signs, arresting a wayward generation in their headlong rush to destruction. For make no mistake, beloved, you stand at the precipice of a new age now. The labor has begun and will soon culminate in both glorious birth and bloody carnage at once. But streams in the wasteland even now as my spirit floods the earth untouched by human hands. Soon the trickles will become rushing torrents in full view of all. The spirit's fire will fall fresh on waiting hearts. Visions will increase and vivid dreams direct my beloved ones. From young lips will pour words of raw prophetic power long absent in my household. A great convergence nears. This aging generation will behold the dawning millennial reign as the young arise to embrace their mission. Age and youth will lock hands, commune together, partner in the epic finale. No longer will titles or credentialed names impress, but only passion for my cause, purity of motive and action to follow hard after me, whatever the cost. The parade of celebrities and high-profile pedigrees on display must give way to the ragtag army of nobodies I will gather for maximum impact. Watch for it, beloved. The institution will crumble as the organism of true ecclesia bursts forth in glory. 
for I will share my indiscriminate power with any and all who thirst for rivers of living water from their innermost being. While decay and death seem to surround you as one age passes into the next, rejoice in knowing the decay will turn to glory in the blink of an eye. The labor pains of now will birth a wondrous age of peace, life, beauty beyond your furthest imaginings. For I descend swiftly to make my dwelling place with men, and I will dwell with them face to face in a garden city more stunning than Eden of old. The beauty of the past will seem but an ashen shadow beside the living, vibrant wonders I have planned. So lift up your downcast eyes, beloved one. Reorient your vision to the unseen realities even now cascading down around you. Indeed, they loom just past the filmy veil that thins to shreds even now. Fix your inner sight on the brightest light that will soon pierce and utterly obliterate the gloom. Reach out to embrace eternity even as earth grows strange and passes away. Keep walking upward into the pure air, leaving the fading kingdoms below to crumble in the rear view. You need no earthly security or prosperity or legacy for relevance. Everything you see with human eyes is tentative and impermanent. But what awaits just ahead is forever gain. I who envisioned all worlds into being from nothing grasp your frame and lifespan as well. I hold your past, present, and future simultaneously. Rest in my vision of the eternal masterpiece. Do not fear these birth pangs, beloved. As darkness intensifies toward that climactic hour, know that the light nears soon to swallow it whole and undimmed forevermore. No more night seasons once I claim the earth fully as my kingdom of brightness. So stand confidently now. Lift your head up high awaiting your redemption. Let joy and awe wash away all dread as I fine-tune events toward that pivotal moment. Soon you shall see me rupture the eastern skies in blazing, triumphant descent on clouds that herald my glory reflected. You shall gaze for the first time on your beloved and know even as you are fully known. No power on heaven or earth can thwart my coming coronation. All idols will bow down before the true God enthroned over all. No shadows can exist in the light of that majestic appearing as I bring forth the city of God to rest upon the earth. There you will dwell with me face to face in the garden city. There you will explore new worlds and fill the vast heavens. There the age-old knowing will become full experience in my tangible embrace forevermore. So lift up your voice in everlasting songs, beloved one. Join the symphony of praise echoing from border to border of this world, merging into angelic choruses that encircle my throne even now. Fill your journey with joy and awe and expectation of all that lies just ahead. For I have etched your name into my hands. I have prepared a weight of glory beyond comprehension to unveil on the day we are wed. Until that ultimate moment I pour over you in tender affection, fiery longing and zeal consuming. Trust yourself fully into my embrace. Take my hand in fearless abandon and walk before me into the unknown future now fast approaching. For my perfect love casts out all fear and worry. Rest in my goodness and guidance to direct you straight as an arrow into your high calling. For I know the plans and purposes I have ordained for you, plans not to harm but prosper you. Run hard after me now, so you may share the wonders of what is still yet to be. My precious child, why do you insist on running and hiding from the joy set before you during this season? Lay aside suspicion or fatigue for a time. Meet me here in this sanctuary apart from stormy seasons that assail from without. Allow your soul to drink its fill of comforts, warm drink, bright colors, nostalgic flavors gathering together. There is healing for weariness in these simple acts of reception. Observe the peace that's settling over creation during this season. Fields sleeping under crystal blankets, animals nesting in hushed woodlands, fireside stories binding families across generations. So be still before me now, tuning your spirit to heavenly chords more eternal 
more substantial than churning chaos around you. Catch again the childlike wonder that greets my miracles with wide-eyed awe instead of cynicism. Glimpse impossible glory wrapped in small, humble packages, kindling courage for the fight ahead. For indeed, another cycle commences as one season dies and another quickens in the womb of time. What long-held dreams and expectations occupied your thoughts last year now fade behind you unbirthed. But no matter. New hope dawns with each revolution of the celestial spheres. What failed last season find glorious fruition in the next, if you press in with faith-filled smiles. My promises remain yes and amen, despite your wandering path. My word and works persist from age to age while yours shift like desert sands. Many paths meander the foothills in aimless murmuring complaint. False guides point toward utopian peaks that prove but mirages. But narrow is the ancient trail up to my holy mountain, beloved. Few feet find it. Fewer still endure its steep ascent. Countless drop away seduced by competing voices, lesser loves, soulish fears. But lift up your eyes higher still. Let my spirit breathe renewal into weary and battle-worn bones. Feed deeply on heavenly manna. Fill up your inner being with wellsprings of joy from my presence. Gather strength for steps ahead. So lift up your voice, beloved child. Let peals of faith-filled joy and anticipation resound. The hour of eternity's dawn draws nigh to unveil its ancient light. Too stunning, too full for mortal frame to behold. It presses hard upon this pregnant pause toward an unparalleled climax of your story. In these quiet moments, before a new chapter unfolds, I encourage you to pause and reflect on the path ahead, a journey brimming with hope and steadfastness. As the world around you ebbs and flows, often shrouded in uncertainty, find strength in your connection to the deeper truths, drawing comfort and inspiration from an inexhaustible source. This period of waiting, this breath before something greater emerges, is a time for you to come together, to rekindle the spark of curiosity and purity within yourself. Let the light of higher wisdom illuminate your path, guiding you with grace and integrity. Cling to the enduring truths, undisturbed by the relentless currents of the world around you. Empowered by this profound sense of purpose, I urge you to rise and embrace your calling, to be a catalyst for positive transformation challenging the status quo with courageous actions and words that reflect a life in harmony with a greater purpose.